Hey everyone, welcome back to another Behind the Build episode. Now, as you can see, we are gonna be doing the Snow White and Seven Dwarves Cottage. Now, this has been recently released, but I'd been expecting it to come out for a while, and from the look of it, I think we're in for a treat. This is set 43242, coming in at 2,228 pieces for ages 18 and up. Now, obviously, we get the Seven Dwarves, which are dopey, sneezy, bashful, sleepy, happy, grumpy, and dark. But we also get the Evil Queen in disguise, Snow White, and of course, the Prince. Now, this will be the biggest speed build video I have done to date. Uh, the Concord came in at just over 2,000 pieces, and this one just beats that by a few hundred. So I am expecting this to take a little bit and probably a little bit longer of a behind the build video, but I promise it'll be worth it. Now, I'm gonna go through this bag by bag. I'm gonna stop along the way, tell you my thoughts, tell you what I like and don't like, but at the end of the video, I will give you my full comprehensive review. So stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, let's get building. Well, all right, we just wrapped up with bag one. Now I'm not gonna stop after every bag in talk, I don't think, cause there's about, I think 14 bags in this and that would just take forever. But I did wanna stop after this one cause there's something really interesting that I saw. So first off, you can see we have the well built. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love all the flowers on the roof and on the sides and then we have a couple of doves and then we also have a bucket. Uh, I just think they did a really, really nice job with this. But one thing I did wanna point out is that Snow White's minifigure her hair piece is made out of rubber. It's just like a rubber piece. And I've never seen that before. Usually it's like hard plastic. I'm not sure if this is a new thing or uh, something that they've done in other sets, but it's definitely not in any of the minifigures that I have. So if you guys know of other minifigures or other sets where they give people like rubber hair pieces, definitely let me know below. We're gonna move on to bag number two now. We're gonna start with the flooring of the cottage and a little bit of the outside, start building the walls and also the interior. Again, I'm not gonna stop after every bag, so we'll make some progress. Then I'll check in, tell you how things are going, what I like and what I don't like. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, so we just wrapped up with bag seven out of 14. We are at the halfway point and it is looking fantastic. This might be my favorite set I've ever built. Just look at the level of detail we have here. Pretty much just finishing with the first floor. So we have the uh, dining area. Look at the just the, the table. We have the chairs, the, the loaves of bread, the dishes, the glasses. Then we also have this the uh, fireplace and you can turn the light on to start a fire. I mean, that looks really cool. We also have on the mantle, we have like spoons. We have the uh, candle. We have a couple of steins. It looks like a sock in the corner. We have a mop. They did a really cool job. I love the clock. Look at this little clock and the chimes and everything. Like that just level of detail is what makes this set great. Now, moving over to the front, we have a wonderfully made front door with the foliage hanging over the front door. We got cool little animals. We got a rabbit. We got a couple of squirrels. Uh, we even have a mushroom over here. I mean, you gotta love that, right? Uh, then you can see we've started to sort of build the chimney. Now, moving over to the second part, this is just awesome. Look at this organ here. And I, I mean, I imagine it's an organ and these are the, the pipes and everything, the different colors and just the way they kind of stack those colors is a really nice detail. We have a keg, look at that. There's a keg in here. We also have a teapot. We have, <laughs> looks like Grumpy's little, little station. We have the water faucet. We have a bunch of coffee or tea mugs. I mean, 
they just did a really great job thinking of everything. Then to the exterior here, um, I love just kind of like the wooden sort of jankiness that it has and things are just kind of crooked. It has that real cottagey cabin feel. Even look at like the window kind of on the outside here with the hearts and just the way those are shaped. One thing that I really appreciate about this so far is there isn't a lot of repetition in the sections of this set. You know, you get a set kind of like the Concord or even the Ornithopter and you kind of end up building the same section over and over again. Now, for those sets, it's necessary. For here, everything is really unique and really colorful too. Now, we're gonna start off tomorrow with building the uh, sleeping quarters for the Seven Dwarfs, as well as starting on the, the roof. Then we're gonna start building the roof itself. Now, I can see those sections getting a little repetitive, uh, but just from clicking through the instructions, it looks like there's enough variation to keep it interesting. So, I really hope that's the case. All right, I've been at this for 11 hours today. I need to call it a night here, but we're gonna fast forward to tomorrow and uh, pick up right where we left off. Okay, so day number two here, and we just finished up with bag seven and eight. Pretty much have the whole interior built, and it looks absolutely stunning. I really love the sleeping quarters. As you can see, all the uh, blankets and comforters on the beds are different patterns, and even the pillows, they utilize different pieces. We have curtains for the window. Also, like you build sort of these support beams, and there's little, little treasures. We got a treasure chest with jewels and a barrel with jewels. Uh, we got a spider and everything. So really, really great job. Now we're gonna move on to building the roof pieces, and I am a little concerned that they are gonna sort of be repetitive, but we'll have to wait and see about that. After that, we're gonna move on to filling in the grounds with a bunch of trees and stuff. And then I think we wrap up the set with building her sleeping area. So here we go, the final push. I'm gonna see if I can finish it up today. Let's keep building. Okay, after about two days of building and filming, it is complete and I still love it. I think it is absolutely fantastic. They did a wonderful job. I do have some complaints, which I'll talk about in a second, but the level of detail in this set is just great. And especially after, I think pretty much one of the most recent builds I did, at least the larger builds, was the Ornithopter and the Concorde. It was really nice to do a set of similar piece count but have it be so much more colorful and vibrant. Those ones, pretty much everything's gray and black and then Concord is pretty much mostly white. So it was really nice to do a set with a lot of uh, smaller, vibrant, detailed pieces. So that really goes from the kitchen area to the dining set, to the fireplace, to also then we have the organ, we have the keg, uh, then the bedroom area where the comforters and sheets are pretty much all different patterns and then the pillows are even different. Now I was worried that when I got to the roof pieces it would get a little tedious and repetitive, and it does, okay? Uh, there's really no way around that, but the level of detail and the contours in the roof, um, to, to get this kind of detail, you really needed to sort of do that. And there's a lot of little pieces that you end up putting in to make these kind of angles and everything. 
I think when it's done, it looks absolutely great. Putting it together, not the most enjoyable part of it, um, but still, I mean, just just look at it. It looks it looks pretty awesome. I really like the trees and the foliage. We don't have a lot of yard to really work with, so we only have a handful of trees, but we have a mushroom, a tree, we got a butterfly in the tree. You know, there's a, a, some animals. We have a few birds, we have a birdhouse. We also have a couple of rabbits and a squirrel. We have a little workbench area and we have the diamonds, a magnifying glass, a little tote, and uh, kind of a slide to uh, slide one of the diamonds down. Now it does open in the middle, and I'm not really sure kind of what the point of this is. I mean, I know, you know, you, you're able to open it and still look at it from the front and kind of see in the rooms, but you don't have really a great view into the rooms. So um, I'm, I don't think I'll display it like this. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to display it with the, uh, you know, the house kind of the, the face of the house forward, or if I want the exposed area in the back, because this is really where a lot of the, the inner working detail is. And, uh, I just feel like it'll be missed if I don't have it. So I, I'm, I'm kind of torn. Which way would you guys recommend kind of having it displayed? If you guys built this, let me know which way you've done it. Another thing that I am slightly critical of here is this side roof piece. It's really cool that it comes off in that you know, you can see in the bedroom area. I really, really love that because you spend so much time uh, building this area and it is so detailed that to not be able to see it is a little frustrating. So being able to take this panel off is very cool, but I really wish they would have figured out a way to put it sort of on a hinge. You know, I, I, I know you would have had to have maybe gotten rid of this tree or moved this tree or put a, a couple of smaller ones there, but to put some sort of a hinge on here, I think it would have been a really nice touch. It just kind of, sets on here and you just want to make sure that it it is actually set on there i don't feel 100 percent comfortable that it's that it's always there but once it's there it's there don't bump into it too hard but if you do like this tree's coming down all this stuff is is going to get knocked so you definitely have to be careful with with this side piece but as long as you're not like bumping into it it should be fine so in the last bag we end up building the uh, coffin area or her her bed, her sleeping area, I guess. Um, and I, I really do like it. I, I think it's a, a nice kind of complement to the uh, to the well here. Again, very detailed, a lot of small pieces to give it a little color and it, it, it really pops. We even have like a little Snow White nameplate that's, that's covered up, it is a printed piece. Um, and then we also have um, some flowers and some buds on there. I really like the uh, purple branch or the purple leaves of the tree. And then, you know, we get another like pine tree on the side. Now I did say we have a printed Snow White nameplate here and most of the pieces are printed, but there are a few things that are stickers. So there's a few pieces on the organ that are stickers. And then also the, the name plates on the heads of the bed, those are stickers as well. Um, I kind of understand why they did that because each one, at least the, the names on the bed, they're, they're all different. I really wish though for a set of this caliber, if they would have gone all printed, that might have given this one like a 99 out of 100 for me. Now going to the minifigures, I do really like Snow White's minifigure. Like I mentioned, her her hair piece is a, is, is a, is a rubber piece, which I, I found interesting. I do like the uh, the witch with the, with the apple and her little basket. I think the seven dwarves, they did a really nice job with them and their, their expressions. Now as far as their tools go, I think they did a good job there. Most of them have pickaxes, but we do have a shovel. Uh, Grumpy has his, his cup and then it looks Looks like Doc has a hammer. The Prince, he comes barehanded, but he does come with a cape. So overall, I give this set an A. I would highly recommend it if you're a Disney fan, a Snow White fan, or if you just really like fun, creative builds. And that's kind of what I thought of when I picked this set up. You know, I mean, I like the Disney stuff, um, but it just looks so detailed and it's such a classic set. So that's the main reason I picked it up and I'm very happy I did. Now I just gotta find some space for it. I hope you really enjoyed this behind the build video. I've done it for the uh, Ornithopter, I've done it for the Concord, I've done it for a bunch of other sets. So if you like this type of video, definitely check out my channel. Also, I have a whole bunch of speed build videos on there. So definitely check out the speed build for this one as well. I'm sure it'll pop up right after this video. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.